So you might be wondering why I'm doing this this video a little later. Well, I was kind of enjoying the football, the uh, the Super Bowl, but <clears throat> the tides turned, and I was like, well, I know where this is going. I'm out. <clears throat> so yeah. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about um, the three big trailers we got from the Super Bowl. And rather than do like separate videos, I was like, eh, I'll just rope all three together. And those being Deadpool 3, obviously the big one, um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes second trailer, and the official trailer for Twisters. So let's kind of go through, I'll, let's go through from least thoughts to most thoughts, starting with Twisters. Twisters looks, uh, Twisters was a movie I kept forgetting was coming out. Like, not because I, I wasn't excited, it was more like, for some reason, I thought it was going to be a movie that was gonna come out around, like, 2026. At the, like, early 2026. That's when I thought it was gonna come out, was that time period. Um, was early, like, early 2026 was gonna be the, um the release date. I did. I kept forgetting it was coming out 2025. But the fact that we're getting this movie, really cool. Um, it looks more like a romance story with, with tornadoes, but then again, that was the original movie. It does suck that we're not going to have, you know, neither Philip Seymour, Ho uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman or, more importantly, um, Bill Paxton, because of their passings. It is going to be cool to see Helen Hunt again. That would be cool. Um, yeah, the movie looks really good. Um... The tornado effects are obviously CGI, but I hope they have that same kind of feel and kind of, like, danger that the twister... Like, when the twister hat... When the tornadoes happened in the first movie, it felt like a giant monster was just roaring through. And I really hope we get that same kind of feel to it, too, is where you feel, like, minuscule and not watching a CGI fest. Although something does tell me we are probably going to get that. That's probably what it's going to be. Anyway... So, let's move on now to um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes' second trailer was um, pretty good. It gives us more of the story as well as more of the main villain, uh, Proximus, I believe his name is. And this looks pretty... This looks like an epic feel to it. I will say that it definitely has that kind of, like, just epic scale that um, the original movies had and the original... And the... Uh, the Caesar trilogy had. I think that this movie is going to be really good. I still have a lot of like reservation because of the director being, you know, the guy he's best known for Maze Runner. And I will say this trailer kind of gave just a wee bit more than it should have. It, it this this full trailer gave away uh, gave away a wee bit more than it really should have. I felt like I kind of watched a bit too much of the story. We do know that this girl that um, the char our main character is trying to protect is isn't like the other humans that were infected by the virus that de-evolved them. She's kind of more she's more intelligent. We don't know if she'll talk or not, but yeah. Um, Proximus again. I think he's going to be the break. He's going to be the uh, like. He's just going to be a fun villain to watch. Um, and watching like. And again, like I know some people said, like, well, that's not the point of the Planet of the Apes. Is that, like the apes are fighting each other. That's not the point. I'm like, did no one watch the later uh, like the? That's kind of the point of these movies. Is that in the end, the apes are no better than human society. So that's always been the point of the Planet of the Apes movies. Is that they've always had this. Um, They've always had, like, that kind of, um, beware tale to these characters, uh, like, to the uh, to that universe. Is like, history kind of repeats itself, only with humans, it's now apes. So that's kind of how I, uh, so that's kind of, um, the big thing there. Now let's get to, uh, get to the one that you guys really want me to talk about, and that is, of course, Deadpool 3, the Deadpool 3 trailer. Uh, yeah. This is the thing we've been most. This is the thing we've been waiting for the most, and I gotta say the trailer did um, have a really good um, feel to it. Yes, it does look like the TVA is heavily involved, and I know leaks and spoilers and whatnot have kind of like infected this film. Like they've really just kind of uh, they've re they've really like kind of sullied the water, so to speak. Like they've really just kind of like. Um, 
the leaks and whatnot have been everywhere, and I just wish they'd stop because they're just it's now beca it's now getting annoying. It's real like even back then the leaks weren't that great, but like <laughs> they're really starting to like really just I think turn off everybody. Um, I uh, I really like the idea of Deadpool being like either an agent or an enemy or both to the TVA. And it, it like it does confirm that suspicion that the TVA were gonna play a big role in Deadpool three, and we do do, do get a quick look of a Hugh Jackman Wolverine that was really cool, and the other thing is too is like the story is really hard it, like this is the opposite of the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes trailer, and I would even dare say a lot of um, Marvel trailers where you kind of piece together what uh, what this is like you really get to piece together. Um, what plays out and how it's going to play out because there's a lot in here that you know some people have said that the main villain is going to be cassandra nova or you know like dr doom is going to be like one of like a variant of dr doom and this is how we get dr doom in here um my friend jason actually posed what if it's like the maker like what like the the ultimate version of uh mr fantastic and that would actually make a lot of sense of the maker being the main villain, even have like Ian Griffod uh, uh, um, come back to play Mister Fantastic, but just evil version of him. Like that would be uh, like that would also make a lot of sense of him trying to like destroy the uh, like destroy the MCU and replace it with the Fox universe uh, and make it like the pseudo Ultimate universe or something like that. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I would be down for that, but I do think uh, personally, I do think it's going to be Cassandra Nova as the main villain. Um. Yeah, Deadpool three looks great. Uh, it does look like it's it's the movie that's going to be like, yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna make we're gonna have some fun here. We're gonna have some laughs, and it's gonna be great. But yeah, um, all in all, I'm excited for all three movies. Bring them on. But you guys, tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of the three trailers uh, of the uh, of uh, the three Super Bowl trailers? Uh, did you guys like in, uh, like them? Hate them? Uh, comment below what you guys thought of them. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.